Thanks for watching this Eastlink TV sneak peek. To see more, tune into Eastlink TV Channel 10 and check your local listings for showtimes. Four years ago, sixth grader Wyland Tone was diagnosed with Tourette syndrome. Although the condition has caused many challenges in his young life, he's been able to thrive thanks to the support of his family, his school, and his entire community. And that support was on full display at the third annual Ayton Trek for Tourette, where they took to the streets to stomp out this debilitating disease. I get to say, let the walk begin. Oh, it's, it's wonderful. It just shows what small communities can do. And uh, it's really nice hosting it here at Normaby Community School where our son, our son attends. And uh, so you get all his friends out and it's really nice to see. Our son was diagnosed in 2014 with uh, Tourette's syndrome and we just wanted to get the awareness out. And uh, over the last three years, it's really bloomed and grown into what you've seen today. We want them to know that uh, Tourette's syndrome it doesn't hold that person back. Um, you need to see past the disability. Um, we just want to keep getting the awareness out there, get rid of the stigma that Hollywood kind of associates with it. Uh, in movies, often you see um, people cursing and swearing, and that's associated with Tourette syndrome, but actually that is um, such a small part. Not every person with Tourette syndrome has that. So um, yeah, it's just nice to get the awareness out there. I've been here, this is my third now, so all three. Um, and I'm pretty sure that we've had the biggest turnout so far, and it seems every year that it keeps increasing. Uh, there's uh, actually lots of great things that are happening here. We got uh, a silent auction with amazing, uh, amazing prizes here that uh, have been donated by a lot of people. There's a big bake sale going on too. Uh, one of some of the fun things that are going on, uh, we have a, a Kiss the Pig contest. It's new for this year, and uh, it was actually a school fundraiser. So it was uh, myself, um, Wyland's teacher, Mrs. Dom, and the school principal, Mr. Morrison. And I've heard some rumblings that Mr. Morrison won. Uh, I guess we'll make that official around three, and then we'll head out and um, kiss the pig. It gets the community out supporting the cause and really raises awareness, which is kind of important for threats because a lot of people don't really understand what it is or how it affects people and what a challenge it is. And we watch Wyland at our school face those challenges every day successfully and it's great to be able to support them any way we can. We have such a small community raising as much money as some of the huge cities across Canada so watching all these people come out in support of this event and all the people making the donations and walking and the silent auction and the bake sale, it's spectacular. It's one of those things about the community and, and why everybody loves being in West Grey in a rural community like this. It's coming together to support those individuals out there uh, that need that little bit. The walk this year was a little bit better than uh, in the past. I questioned why at the end of March? You never know, but it, the understanding that Tourette's is something that is very unpredictable and uh, the weather at the end of March is also unpredictable, so it's a good thing. Uh, the weather today though was, uh, was great. The wind died down so that coming up that last hill, we didn't have to face the wind and the hill. <laughs> well folks, this has been the greatest Trek for Tret ever. I hope you can come next year or when it's ever on again. See you next time. Thanks for watching this video. Eastling TV is the home of community content. Make sure you don't miss any of it by clicking subscribe here.